Hey, today we're in Friendswood, Texas. We're going to talk to you about this, this hidden little gem just south of downtown Houston by about 30 minutes off of 45. We're talking great homes, great amenities, amazing restaurants, and great schools. So if you're thinking about relocating to Houston, Texas, this is a video you need to watch. And right now is the time to like, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our content because it's freaking outstanding. All right, let's go. All right, so yeah, let me tell you a little bit about Friendswood. Friendswood is kind of like a wholesome, kind of quaint little area in between um, Leak City and Pearland down here south, southeast of Houston. It's about 30, 30 to 35 minutes from downtown Houston, so it's a great location. I mean, literally you can get to the plants and probably 15 to 20 minutes, yeah. right? Get to so, Hobby Airport in about the same 20 minutes to yeah, Hobby Airport. Yeah, Hobby Airport's awesome. It's a great location, but you know, what I like about it is it kind of its founding, right? It started as a settlement for Quakers, right? And Quakers used to call each other friends, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you know, you go over to the friend's house, that's a Quaker, we're talking to another Quaker. So that's how Friendswood became Friendswood instead yeah. of instead of Quakerwood. Right? Yeah, because Quakerwood <laughs> just doesn't sound right. But Friendswood it'll... sounds much more appealing, you know? And it's a great, it's one of the safest areas. If you look on niche.com, you'll see one of the safest neighborhoods out there. It's got some of the best rated schools. If you look on niche.com again, yeah. You're going to see um, that it's top rate. I mean, literally, out of all the schools in Texas, a thousand schools or so, districts, it has, I think, I think it's top 21, right? Yeah, yeah, the 21. Top yeah. 21 school districts out there. It's con it's constantly rated uh, one of the best places to raise, one of the best communities to raise a family in, in the nation. Yeah, in the nation. So uh, it's a great, great, great location. So next thing we're going to talk about is amenities. So we'll catch you when we're over there in the uh, Baybrook Mall area. Yeah. All right, so we're at Dunn Brothers Coffee taking a break, uh, but we want to talk to you a little bit about Friendswood's amenities, right? Mm -hmm. What's great about Friendswood is you really don't have to sacrifice anything to live in a small, kind of quaint, wholesome kind of community. Yeah, you still get some great amenities over yeah. here. You've got, uh, uh, you've got Perry's, you like to eat Perry's. Perry's. Yeah, Perry's is a great uh, steakhouse. Now, the great thing about Perry's is they have this giant pork chop. They bring it to the table, they cut it up for you, tell you kind of how to eat it, yeah, even, you yeah, know? Yeah. And it can probably feed three or four people, right? Easily. So it's good. Yeah. And it's like it's huge. It's like $14, yeah. right? Or, yeah. It might be a little bit more than that. Don't quote me yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah. But, but even if steak isn't your thing, you have Maggiano's. Maggiano's is great. Is great, yeah. great Italian food. Uh, I've never heard anybody say they had a bad Two time for one Maggiano's. pasta, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can go wrong with that, you know? It's from around the world. And then you have Star uh, Cinema Grill. Yeah. So if you can, date night, right? Date yeah, night, date movie night. Movie and a dinner. Dinner and movie. Yeah, so you can actually Classic. watch your favorite movie. They got tables there, you order, you know, pizza. They have hamburgers, all kinds of stuff right yeah, there, right? exactly. I think the greatest thing about that little area at the Bay Brook Mall is they have that kind of kids area, right? The, the yeah. Astro Turf right there. Yeah, which, and the beauty of that is like, it's this huge green space area. So, you know, if you're out on a family outing or even a date night, but you have yeah. kids, you know, you and your wife or your girlfriend can have uh, a nice evening yep. and the kids all, they all run out there and congregate and play the entire time. So, or your boyfriend. Yeah, even- Or your when, husband. Right? Yeah, whatever, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whoever we're talking to. <laughs> even when you're ready to leave, the kids aren't ready to leave. Yeah, but, um, so that kind of covers the light mind, kind of, that kind yeah. of stuff. Well, we've also got like, groceries. You know, yeah. Everybody needs to, you know, let's talk about food anyway. We've got, you know, two of the you know, major grocery stores here in town, H-E-B, once you come to Texas, you'll never shop anywhere else. You know, H-E-B. I think it's a cult. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a cult. We, we also have Kroger here as well, if the H-E-B is too busy for you one day. Yeah. And then there's outdoor events you can do here, like Stevenson Park, yeah, which we were at earlier, right? They've got yeah, the tons of events. Bike the, trails. Yeah, Stevenson Park has the big car show. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be doing it twice a year now. That's an amazing car show. Yeah. And then I have Gus with me, right? Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. have the... The dog park yeah. there, and I love taking him down there so we can chase around the other dogs. But, <laughs> you go make you know. a little pup friends. So the bottom line is, when in Friendswood, you know, even though you're getting a great wholesome kind of small town feel, you get all the benefits of yeah. living in a big city. I right? can't think of anything that you miss. Yeah. So next thing we're going to kind of talk about is we're going to talk about the neighborhoods. We're going to go yeah. show you the housing options that are out there. All right, so we're at West Ranch, which is an awesome little master plan community here in Friendswood. When you come into West Ranch, you're gonna get all this wonderful vegetation, open fields, great oak trees. You're also gonna see some beautiful lakes, walking trails, jogging trails. It also has a huge uh, rec center with you know playgrounds, it has a Olympic sized pool, has a splash pad for the kids, and a resort style pool also. And one of the great things about West Ranch is it has lots of different types of homes. They're all in the same style, but they're gonna be a lot different. There's no home really gonna look exactly the same. And you can get pretty much anything you want out here. And you're really looking at prices starting around 650-ish, and then go all the way up to like a million five. But you're gonna be able to get 
pretty much any amenity you like you want out there and these all have that open floor plan we're looking for so our next neighborhood is going to be the forest of friendswood and jason's going to take you through that neighborhood all right so as we get in here to the forest of friendswood i love this drive coming into the neighborhood then you right off the bat you get this really big park over here this great field to run the dogs and the kids in you got the gazebo with the playscape and then all the hike and bike trails that come off of it leading back into the subdivision you kind of come through here, you got all these sections that branch off of the main drive. Uh, so it really feels like you live in these smaller uh, little communities uh, inside the forest of Friendswood. It's greatly developed. The uh, homes are gonna be upper you know, square footages, two story brick homes with two and three car detached garages. You have five bedrooms to seven bedrooms. The majority of the homes have private pools. The price point in here is around 700,000, upwards of a million and a half, a million seven. Somewhere in there, it's just a really great neighborhood, very well developed and established, uh, great part of Friendswood to live in. All right, well now you've seen everything that Friendswood has to offer and all the amenities. Uh, if you're a young executive looking for a great place to raise your family, then Friendswood is definitely the place for you. Yeah, or even if you know, maybe you're graduating from um, college and you're looking for a place to kind of settle down and you don't want the fast pace of a large city, yeah. but you don't want to have to sacrifice the amenities, right. this is definitely one of the places you want to check yeah. out, right? Uh, what's not known is um, Friendswood had three residents that were all in space at the same time. Yeah, day. yeah. I don't think there's any other communities that can say that. Not, no. you know, astronauts live everywhere, but at one time, three astronauts in space were actually neighbors yeah. here in Friendswood, Texas. So hey, we want to thank you for watching our video. And you know, if you liked it, make sure that you uh, hit the like button, subscribe. And um, we're always going to put out great videos, doing our best. And make sure you leave a comment uh, below because sometimes, you know, if we're not putting the content out you want to see, we want to know what yeah. that is. Plus, I like comments. I like to reply to comments. Yeah. So, you know, tell me where you're moving from or, or what part of Houston you're thinking about moving to or, you know, what your questions are. Yeah, we'll do a video on that area, yeah. right? Yeah, so, I'd love to. Yeah. So, my name's Phil. I'm Jason Kuhn. And thanks for watching our Bye. video.